when, when I think of uh, public broadcasting, of course, uh, coming from the UK, I think of the BBC and uh, local BBC radio and uh, television efforts. How, how does the PBS system in the US compare in your view to public broadcasting organizations in other countries? Yeah, we're part of a community of public broadcasters. Actually, we're an active member in association of all the public broadcasters. Um, it was the BBC that was the great inspiration for the creation of PBS, as a matter of fact. So, so we're a little different. I'll give you a, a very quick history lesson, not for you personally, Dean, for everyone that's listening in. But um, in, the, in the UK, the BBC came first. The idea was, you know, the uh, media is a public service. We're a little different on the other side of the pond. We started out as a capitalist system. Uh, commercial television came first, and it was really the first woman FCC commissioner, a woman by the name of Frida Hennick, who had this idea as she watched this emerging tech, then emerging technology, and also, of course, looked at radio and thought, you know, if, if a portion of the spectrum is not set aside for pure educational purposes, she worried that the, that the potential of the media wouldn't be fully realized. She looked at what was happening in commercial television and she saw some good and some um, areas that clearly the marketplace would not necessarily pick up. And so she lobbied to have a percentage of broadcast spectrum set aside for educational purposes. And that's actually how we started. There was no money, by the way, it was just there was spectrum. You could put in an application to, uh, to get a license for a public television station. The very first public television station was University of Houston. And they had, I believe at the time, a communications school. And they thought that this was a, an interesting um, application for their school. And some of the earliest stations were part of universities. Some states then decided that um, having uh, television licenses would allow them to become classrooms of the air. If you look at many of the station call letters and public television, a lot of them have E's in their name. That's because it was originally educational television. And then um, it was Lyndon, jo but these were all independent stations, by the way, and they all had their own broadcast schedules and their own ideas of what service meant in communities. Um, but then Lyndon Johnson looked at the BBC and thought, this is something that our country should have, something that really reflected our culture, that, uh, that had the ability to um, you know, sort of uplift the citizenry. And he signed the Public Broadcasting Act um, a, more, a little more than 50 years ago with the idea that we would form an entity PBS, which would become that central place where resources could come together on behalf of all of our stations. And that enabled us to, to start out the news hour, as I said before, and to invest in a, in a very tall yellow bird um, um, that started Sesame Street and some other programs. And so it all sort of spun up from then. But the, but the idea here, which is different than the BBC and, and most of the other public broadcasters is most of them are, are largely government funded. And we were always created with this idea that it would be this public private partnership. And there are many times, I will tell you, that I have thought if I had the resources of a BBC and uh, you know, that it would be extraordinary. But on the other hand, I do think that this idea that does feel very American of volunteerism, by the way, many of our stations were started by women. And what caused that? Sesame Street. So Sesame Street actually predates PBS. And people heard about this extraordinary program for kids and wanted to get it for their own communities. And in fact, um, and this may sound apocryphal, it is absolutely true. Uh, I met women that did bake sales and that did all kinds of fundraising activities to, to, to help stations come to life across the country. And so I, I think now as you look forward, and I can't even remember now what, what question you asked because you were asking me about the BBC, but I'm, I'm, I'll knit it together, I promise, and then I'll stop talking. But I think that um, ultimately this public television system that did start out you know, very scrappy, very entrepreneurial, and very much rooted in community, I think serves our country very well. And I think especially now. And again, as I said, from the very beginning, when you were asking me about all these various media players and how do you compete, 
this idea that we are in fact rooted in community is very powerful. Now that's not to say that we're not partnering with a number of organizations. We have relationships with Netflix and Amazon and others. Uh, we have our app that, um, that streams content. Uh, we have a place on YouTube TV. So we are very much rooted in our legacy, but we are very much rooted in this idea that we have to continue to be entrepreneurial and to think about the audience first and to make sure that in our um, objectives of fulfilling our mission, that we are very much focused on service and whatever that means. And, and tying that to making sure that we're in those places where people are looking for information is I think the, the heart of, of what we have tried to advance as we look at PBS for the future. 